Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Ryan back with another reaction video and today we are reacting to my boy in, is, that, is that how you say uh, myself in another language? I don't know. Uh, feels right anyway. So yeah, I am going to be reacting to a old song of mine. Uh, when I say old, this is actually only a few years old, but uh, something that I haven't done a reaction to so far. So I thought it would be awesome to give this a little whirl, a little blast from the past. So, just to give you a little bit of a backstory, so this is a song which I did with uh, one of my inspirations in music uh, in my teenage years. So I was a big fan of the band Famous Last Words. Uh, they did songs such as The Show Must Go On, One in the Chamber, two of their best songs. Um, and yeah, they're really, really good bands. They're kind of in the same ballpark as The Used, uh, Crown the Empire, when they did their more kind of carnivally um, kind of... Uh, that kind of vibe and get scared that kind of vibe uh, but yeah Jeremy uh, JT JT Tollis whatever um, he yeah he's an amazing singer great voice you guys if you haven't heard this already you'll see as soon as it gets to the chorus when he sings nuts um, and yeah this is also um, a song which I worked on with a guy who did the album for me The Journey um, this is sort of like a post-album song that we worked on, and um, I think without further ado, let's just get into it and uh, do some analysis, see if I've improved, and see what I can shit on. <laughs> This video, I'm just gonna say this now, this video was so fun. Like, so it was a mixture of green screen shots, which is obviously like the foresty kind of shots that you have. And then it has like this um, industrial kind of environment with all the pillars and the wooden floors and stuff. And this really old piano with like the front taken off and it was really, really cool. Um, so, and the only thing is though, I'll, I'll give you guys a bit of an insight. I struggled to play this because the piano was so out of tune and I was like, when I was hearing it, I was like, oh, this is disgusting and I was like, I have to try and like, you know, sing and like, oh, just like pretend to sing and like play this without being distracted, but yeah. I, do you know what? When you haven't watched this for a while, you kind of forget a lot of things about about it. And I actually forgot this is one of my favourite songs that I've written, where like the lyrics have been really cool. Um, I think the standout part of this song is definitely the the lyrics, um, and the kind of metaphors and and the writing around um, around the topic. So this song is about um, basically being a shit person, and um, you know, kind of being. I can't even describe it. It's basically like the metaphor is, um, you know, you're this, this cancer, this kind of bad, infectious thing, and it's like you want to be better sort of thing. So it kind of, as the song goes on, it kind of delivers that kind of narrative where it's like, okay, this is what I am. Okay, this is what I want to be, blah, blah. You'll see, you'll see the kind of link with that. But it was really clever. And um, there's another song I did like this called You, which is... Um, another metaphoric song for depression so it's kind of written about as if it's a person but the person that um, is being sung about is basically depression so um, lyricism is everything and I love it so <laughs> cool uh, anyway let's jump right into this I'm the Russian through your veins and yes I know that I'm insane Right, JT's gonna come in in a second on this chorus. Just his voice is so good. Bearing in mind as well, this this chorus is spoiler alert. This chorus is quite low compared to the rest of the song, so from this point onwards, it kind of builds up into something that's more rocky, um, and it's like a whole octave higher um, when he sings it the next time. It's just nuts. Is this who I am? This 
kind of got like a haunted kind of vibe with the vocals kind of in the background. There's the belt, the belts. <laughs> so this, to be honest with you, I feel like I could sing this a lot better now. Um, but at the time, I was really proud of being able to hit these notes. Um, but yeah, I could definitely do them a lot cleaner now. That's a nice note there. The feeling that's like quite gritty with the vocal part. Go. This ring gets fun. That was a bastard to sing, I can't lie to you guys. So that note there. I think I've got to give credit to JT on this, so uh, I wrote pretty much everything except for the chorus. Um, basically I said to JT, I was like, mate, this is what the song's about, what kind of idea do you have? Um, a bit of co co like, you know, cross collaboration in terms of writing and stuff. And um, he was just like, he brought this fucking melody out where, obviously what you just heard in the chorus, like the... Now fallen, 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 I can't take it. You know, the kind of repetitive, kind of um, catchy kind of vibe coming on. And when he sung this second one where it was like more belted, and he did the, like the, Is this who I am? Like proper high, I was like, bro, <laughs> like, how the fuck am I supposed to sing that? <laughs> but I managed it in the end. It took a it took a little bit of practice, but I, I got there in the end. I can do it now. It's all good. <laughs> so just to make things clear as well guys, so this second chorus is both of us singing together, so first chorus was just JT and this is both of us doing the belts. But yeah, I think my kind of thought process back then, um, and JT agreed as well, he was like, let's let's do both belting, like, you know, both the same, exact same melody, just singing exactly in unison. Just adds more texture to uh, to the chorus vocally, and I think it worked really well. So, there was originally a um, oh god, there was like another melody that I wrote for this bridge originally, but I decided to take it out because I, I literally wanted it to be commercial as fuck because <laughs> this is like emo pop type shit, and I was just like. Do you know what? Let's let's take it out. But it was it was pretty cool. Uh, see if I can remember it. I can't remember. Yeah, I know, man. Mm -hmm. 
I have to say it, man. The guy who did the reaction, uh, not the reaction, but the production, like um, who helped me with the, the songwriting side of this, uh, Brian, uh, he's the guy who helped me with um, the album The Journey. He did a lot, like pretty much all of the production in terms of like mixing and, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, he did a really, really cool job at kind of producing this song as well. So he come to me with this kind of piano riff idea and I was like, mate, I love this. And then we sort of you know, got together, not got together, but we sort of like bounce heads on some themes and blah, blah, whatever else. And um, we sort of come along with this kind of emo-y kind of ballad type thing. And um, I just remember when I, yeah, when I first heard this piano lead line, I was like, mate, that is so catchy. And um, I love how it ends on that as well, because it sort of like starts like that brings itself up gradually 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 and gets right up here and it just comes right down to like where it started i love it when songs do that so um props to brian and as well like the video uh there's a guy called mr matthew or matty uh matty daly from uh, clearway media did an absolute fucking blinder of a job on the video um in all fairness i did drive all the way up to liverpool bolton manchester that kind of way uh, in England, which was about four odd hours drive for me, which was not nice, but um, it was well worth it when I saw the final product. So, and uh, obviously JT, amazing vocalist. If you haven't already, check out some of his his band uh, and also his solo project, which is Postscript. Um, I think his band did a cover of Bohemian Rhapsody, which is disgusting. It's so good, uh, but yeah. Other than that, guys, yeah, vocally, it's I. Could, I can definitely sing a lot better than that now. Uh, I think it's very natural as a singer to kind of look back at what you've done and be like, you know what, I changed that and I changed that and I do that different. But for the time and my ability back then and um, where I was at, I think it's it's good and I surprised myself with a lot of things in terms of the range that I was hitting in that chorus and stuff, being able to kind of live up to the same uh, melody and the same range as um, someone that I've always aspired to kind of sing like and um yeah it's nuts <laughs> it's it's refreshing watching this back and, and kind of seeing that sort of side of it so but yeah anyway before i ramble on guys thank you so so much for watching this video it's much appreciated as always leave a like comment subscribe maybe watch the song the whole way through yourself the song is on spotify as well if you guys want to add it to your playlists um follow the socials subscribe comment your suggestions below and uh, yeah thank you for watching guys peace out Bye-bye.